three, two, one. Hey everybody, welcome back to Langston's Book of Verse. Um, at first I wanted to say thank you all so much for all the nice comments on my first uh, two videos. I, I really appreciate them. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm really glad to, to know that y'all are, that I guess people are out there. Um, it's, it was sort of weird. I, I guess there was like a small part of me that wasn't expecting people to, <laughs> to respond back. Like, oh, there's actually, there's actually people watching my stuff. Okay. Um, but I guess I'm doing something kind of right. So, <laughs> but anyway, th thanks, thanks again for all the positive, um, positive messagings and all the all the nice interaction. I'm gonna be getting back to y'all's um, y'all's comments and stuff uh, on the last videos uh, soon. Um, but yeah, just wanted to thank you guys again. Um, so today I wanted to do a book review for 16th Watch by Mike Cole. And um, Mia Baron was the narrator. Um, again, I mostly do audiobooks for my book reviews. Um, so this is it was this is so this is so so good. Um, yeah, man, this is so good. So um, I gave it I gave it four and a half stars because um, it was really able to hold my attention for the vast majority of the book. There were like a couple times. The reason I didn't I guess the reason I didn't give it five was because there were a few times when I was just kind of like. Where I guess it just sort of took me out, or, or maybe not it didn't take me out, but it didn't hold my attention. <sighs> Excuse me. Um, so yeah, that's why I give it four and a half. Um, but it was it was such a cool story. Um, but let me go ahead and read you guys the description on um, on Storygraph, and I'll link it. I'll also link this link um, the Storygraph uh, book thing. You know, y'all know what I'm trying to say. I'll link. Storygraph and Goodreads in the in the in the description box. Um, so yeah. So the Coast Guard must prevent the first lunar war in history. A lifelong search and rescue woman, Coast Guard Captain Jane Oliver, is ready for a peaceful retirement. But when tragedy strikes, Oliver loses her husband and her plans for the future, and finds herself thrust into a role she's not prepared for. Suddenly at the helm of the Coast Guard's elite SR-1 lunar unit, Oliver is the only woman who can prevent the first lunar war in history. A conflict that will surely consume not only the moon, but Earth as well. So, you can, so yeah, so from the description, it's about this woman who is a, I just said it and I forgot her rank, captain. Um, this woman who is a captain of, uh, the, of the Coast Guard. Um, in space. Uh, so I, yeah, that was, that was that was the other thing. It was it was really cool. I, I haven't um, I haven't not not to say that I haven't read a lot of sci-fi, but lately I haven't been reading as much sci-fi. I've mostly been reading fantasy because I'm, I'm a fantasy type of guy. But um, I do en I do enjoy science fiction. Uh, so you have this woman who I guess this isn't. Yeah, well, it's it's not really a spoiler. I mean, it's in the description. But at the at the beginning of the book, um, it's sort of like a flash flashback. Um, so you see how she loses her husband um, in this skirmish that breaks out on the moon between the United States and China, um, and it's yeah, it was so, and even like it it pulled me in from there. Just just that first part. It, you were able to get a sense of, I feel like you were, or I was able to get a sense of like the gravity of the situation. And I was so torn up when her husband does, when her husband dies. Again, I don't think this is a spoiler because it happens at the very beginning. Um, but yeah, like you can see, I guess, see, y'all know what I'm trying to say. You can see how you can see how like this broke her, you know, and and like and, and you can see um the conversation that she was having with her husband up until that point. You know they have a really loving relationship. They have um they have two kids. Um, they're both they're both adult. They're both yeah they're both adults. Um, yeah, they had two adult children. Um, but you can 
see their interaction at the beginning of the story, how how close they are, and they have just like a really, um, they have a really nice relationship. Like they know each other, they know each other so well, um, and it's almost like you you can really get a sense of her pain and how broken she is when her husband dies, and you can see how that impacts her throughout the rest of the book. Um, but so after her husband dies, she decides to retire, um, or not retire, but, um, I don't know what it's called. If there are any military people out there, um, who know what this is called, feel free to say that in the comments, because I'm not, sometimes I'm not too familiar with, like, military, military structure and ranking system and what things are called. Um, but, so she gets deployed? I don't know. She gets sent to, um, to, like, a teaching role after, after the whole incident. Um, and so she's teaching, um, a lot of the young Coast Guards, uh, about, I guess their, I guess their basic training, um, and, yeah, I guess basic training stuff, um, how to pilot, um, a lot of the, uh, the, um, the, the spacecraft that they use, um, and things like that. And she gets uh, called in to help stop, because tensions are keep escalating um, between the United States and China over who's going to have a predominant control of resource mining on the moon. Um, and so she gets sort of pulled into this into this uh, conflict, but she's trying. She and the people who recruit her are trying to stop this war, a potential war from happening, um, which is sort of like what's going on today between, um, the, between, uh, NATO and Russia and Ukraine. Everyone's trying to avoid a war because both countries are nuclear powers. Um, so it's very much the same type of thing in this book. She knows that this is not going to be a good thing for anybody. And she's like, this isn't going to be, and one of the main things that she keeps repeating in the book is that like, this war is no joke. If we do go to war with China, it will not just be in space. Like, don't think that just because this starts out as a space war that all that all the violence and the war will be in space. It's definitely going to be come to Earth, too, where it's going to affect regular-ass people. Um, I forgot the point I was trying to make leading into this, but that's fine. Um... So yeah, she does get she does get recruited by um, some old friends that she used to work with, um, old supervisors that she used to work for, and so she's um, she's sort of tasked with um, training, training and mentoring and coaching this Coast Guard team in I, I really like this idea in like a military sport. Um, so basically, one of the main parts of a lot of the military's job in, in this world is boarding another vessel. And so, I guess it started out as just training exercises. So I guess, like, one, yeah, like, one team would be, um, one team would pretend to be, like, the bad guys, or, you know, or, like, you know what I'm trying to say, like, the, the people who are trying to who were getting boarded, and the other team would be the people who were doing the boarding. Um, so from, and if I'm remembering correctly, it started out as a training exercise, but then more and more civilians started watching it and were really entertained by it. And now it's its own, it's its own kind of sport, <laughs> which was a really, I don't know why, this is a really cool idea to me. Um, and, it, and they actually even comment on, in the, they actually even say in the book that it's, it's, it's the most popular sport in the country now. Um, like, it's more popular than basketball, football. People aren't really even watching those sports anymore. They're watching the boarding competitions in the military. Um, so I thought that was really, I thought that was really interesting because I hadn't really come across that, that idea before. Um, I'm sure there are tons of other books that do that, but this was just the first one that I came across. Um, but so, yeah, so she's tasked with coaching and training and coaching this team of coast guards um yeah of coast guards to uh win win the big tournament 
And so I, I really like how it's, it's sort of like, it, it sort of mixes like that, like a typical sports, sport story, um, where like, you know, lead the team to victory type of thing, but also the very real consequences of war and skirmishes and all, and that type of stuff. Um, and you see, it was just, it's, it's, I really enjoyed <clears throat> her interactions with her different, um, her crewmates or the people that she's coaching, the members of the team that she's coaching, because you can tell they each have their own distinct personality and they each have their own issues. She takes along her, um, like her, is it Lieutenant? Second in command, something like that, who's an old friend of hers. Um, and so she moves back to the moon or to the space station. Um, at, uh, her and her second in command. Um, and I really love the relationship that they have with each other. Cause it's almost like they're, I don't know if it's like work husband, work wife thing, or just like, they're just, or like, they're just best friends, but their dynamic is just, it was just really cool to me. Um, it, yeah, I just, I just. I, I guess that, that I guess that was like one of the main parts about the book that I like is just the the interaction the interactions between these people. But um, so the main uh, getting back to like the story, um, they know they're gonna have to go up against the Marines, which are like their team has been like the winner for like I can't remember how many consecutive years, but they've been the winner for a few consec they've been the winners consecutively over a period of years. And so she's like, damn, I, I really have to get, I really have to get these guys together. I really have to understand what they're doing. I really like how she makes an attempt to understand what they're going to go through um, in these competitions. And she also keeps in mind the real world ramifications of what, of what she's doing and of and of how important their role in the Coast Guard is. Like, it, to her, it's not just a sports game. I think I've said pretty much said that already, but to her, it's not just a sports game. It's preparing, it's preparing these Coast Guard, these Coast Guard uh, people for, for being real Coast Guards and doing what they're meant to be doing. Um, and, and I just love seeing that whole dynamic played out there's this like back and forth between the the main antagonist, one of the well, yeah, main antagonist, which is this um, Marines captain, um, and so yeah, I, I really I really enjoyed it. Again, I gave it four and a half stars. I really suggest giving this a listen or giving this a read whenever you have time. Um, it was it was so it was such a great read, and the ending breaks my no no it didn't. No, never mind. Forget what I said. I might cut this part out. <laughs> the ending was really great. Um, it. Never mind. Nope. Nope. I'm shutting. I'm gonna shut my mouth. I'm not gonna spoil this for y'all. But um. But yeah. So overall, I enjoyed this so much. I, yeah, definitely go give it. Go give it a, a read. Go give it a listen. Whenever you can. Um, I found, this was the, I read this on script. I listened to it on script. So if you do have script, it is there. Um, I was also able to find it in some of my local libraries, um, that they, they did have it, um, in North Carolina. So, you know, that's, that's another, um, that's another option. Um, try not to spend, I'm trying not to spend a lot of, <laughs> I'm trying not to spend a lot of money. I'm having some financial issues, not gonna lie. So I'm trying to like minimize and try to like cut everything, everything that I'm spending that's not 100% necessary. Um, um, but so yeah, so just trying to, if, if you two are having struggles, <laughs> um, then yeah, th those would be some good, uh, really good uh, resources to look at. Scrib doesn't cost Script doesn't cost that much, I don't think. I can't remember how much it costs off the top of my head, but um, I don't, I don't remember it being that expensive. Um, 
so yeah well um yeah that's all i had uh thank you guys again so much for all the positive feedback um i'm thinking about doing another like a a, a second booktube newbie tag i don't know if I don't know if you can do two booktube movie tags, but I saw I was watching some other ones and I really liked um, some of the questions that they were answering. Um, so I might make like a part two or do like an ask me anything type of deal. So if that's something that you'd be interested, um, let me know in the comments below and um, I guess yeah, make some suggestions about some questions that you want me to answer. Um, yeah. So that's all. Thanks again for watching.